Hello, today I'll be coding something like an SVG icon. So uh, let's get started. We start with a dimension for our SVG. And uh, let's say this is going to be a, well, a large number so that we can then uh, round up stuff and we don't have decimals because decimals look ugly. Okay, um, let's create a radius for a circle. And um, let's say uh, this is going to be 0.25 of uh, this uh, dimension, but first let's create the SVG and viewbox and use this array, the top left offsets, the two dimensions along the two axes. Uh, sorry about the noisy parting people. Um, okay, now let's do that circle, the radius, this is something like this. Okay. And now that I'm doing this, uh, let's give this uh, an ID, circle ID, something like that. Um, we can also put it inside a mask, okay, something like this. Uh, and then we're also going to have uh, a use. And this one, so um, yeah, this is going to have no fill, none, um, stroke, uh, current color, um, yeah, and let's say stroke with, um, let's uh, see, so, um, Stroke with um, something like this. Um, okay. Now also do something like transform scale something like this to make it smaller. Okay. Uh, now. We're going to uh, create the rays, and we're going to have a number of rays, which is six, uh, and then we compute another constant, which is going to be twice this number, and then we're going to compute a base angle, which is pi over n. Okay, so this uh, should pretty much do it. Um, and now we're going to have a loop. So i, sorry, uh, starting from zero all the way up to m, incremented at every step, um, and now we compute a current angle, which is i times a base angle, um, then we compute um, our current radius, and this is going to be Uh, slightly uh, smaller than the uh, circle radius. So now we compute an x, which is the current radius times cosine of the current angle. And now we just uh, we just copy paste this and have the y, and this is a uh, sine, and we also create a list of points which is empty initially okay and then we add these points x and y so now let's create those rays so um the d attribute and now let's include those points. Um, and the thing is, this should do it. And also a rectangle, x is the uh, top left offset, y something like this. Let's see. Okay. Um, yeah. 
down um, array radius. I forgot about that. Something like this. Okay. Now let's let's see what we do here. So now we've done this. Here we use fill white. Okay, so something like this. And we also do fill make this a group sun um, something like this and let's put this within that group and now we have a bright orange sun and let's make the width of this yeah they're dragging chairs and stuff okay um, so, uh, yeah, now this is going to uh, scale nicely. Um, I suppose. Mm, it doesn't seem to be working, so whatever. I'll just take it out. Okay, so, uh, yeah, this is it. Uh, this is what I wanted to show you for today, how you can uh, make an icon like this. So, uh, of course, the number of rays can be changed and we can have something like eight rays for example like we have uh, right now so um yeah this is it for today uh one more thing i want to do because as i said i don't like decimals so let's see the compiled thing okay yeah it it looks pretty good. So, um, yeah, this is um, pretty much all of it. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and if you have and you want me to be able to do more stuff in the future, please consider supporting my work. You can do it in one of the ways explained in the description, with a donation, or you can get me something off my Amazon wishlist, there are going to be links to that as well. Or you can at least share this to show the world what can be done on the web these days, because honestly, I think it's pretty damn cool. In any event, thanks for watching.